December 2025 is going to be an amazing month for skywatching, and you don't need any special tools to enjoy it. This year, the sky is giving us even more reasons to look up. So grab a blanket, step outside, and let's explore everything the night sky is showing us before the year ends. The first big event happens on December 4th, and it's super special because it's the last supermoon of the entire year. People are calling it the cold supermoon. This moon will look bigger and brighter than what we normally see because it reaches its closest point to Earth. It rises in the constellation Taurus, and it will start glowing in the sky around evening time. In some places, it'll shine the most around 6.15 p.m. What's really cool is that it appears almost 8% larger and about 15% brighter than a regular full moon. If the weather is clear, you can see it easily without any equipment. Early in the morning, it will even pass close to the Pleiades star cluster, which looks like a tiny cloud of sparkling stars. So if you love watching the moon or taking photos, this night is perfect. A few days later, on December 7th, Mercury reaches the farthest point it gets from the sunrise in the morning. Mercury moves around the sun super fast, and because Earth is moving too, it keeps appearing and disappearing from our view. But on this day, it will be at its best position to see in the morning sky for the whole year in the Northern Hemisphere. You can try spotting Mercury before sunrise, and it will look like a small bright dot low on the horizon. It won't stay visible for long, so waking up early actually pays off this time. Next comes one of the most exciting events, the Geminid Meteor Shower. This one happens every December, and it's famous because it produces tons of bright meteors. In 2025, the Geminids will peak on the night of December 13th into the early hours of December 14th. The best time to watch them is around 2 a.m., when the sky gets darker and the constellation Gemini is high enough. If you go to a dark place away from city lights, you might see up to 120 meteors every hour. That's like two meteors every single minute. The cool part is that this meteor shower lasts all night, so you don't have to stay awake the whole time. Even late in the evening, you can still spot several meteors streaking across the sky. On December 20th, we have a new moon. A new moon means the moon is completely dark, so it doesn't shine at all. This one is special because it's a micro-moon, meaning it's one of the farthest new moons from Earth this year. When the moon is dark, the sky becomes perfect for stargazing because nothing bright washes out the stars. The very next day, on December 21st, we get the winter solstice in the Northern Hemisphere. This is the shortest day and longest night of the whole year. It happens because Earth is tilted, and during this time, the northern hemisphere leans farthest away from the sun. That makes the sun appear super low in the sky at noon and gives us fewer hours of sunlight. While it might feel like a gloomy day, it's also the moment when days slowly start getting longer again. If you live in the southern hemisphere, this date is the opposite. It's their longest day of the year. On the same nights, December 21st and 22nd, the Ursid meteor shower reaches its peak. This is the final meteor shower of the year, and even though it's smaller than the Geminids, it's still worth watching. You can see around 10 shooting stars every hour, and the good news is that the moon will be very dark this year, so the sky will be clear enough to see them easily. You can watch the Ursids all night long from the Northern Hemisphere, and they appear to come from near the Little Dipper. If the sky is cloudy, you can try watching on the nights around the peak, because the shower lasts several days. Finally, to end December with something beautiful, the sky gives us a special sight on December 27th. This evening, the moon will be in its first quarter phase, which means half of it looks bright and half looks dark. But the best part is that the moon will appear close to Saturn and the Pleiades star cluster. They won't be right next to each other, but they'll look like a small group in the same part of the sky. Saturn will appear like a bright yellowish dot, and the Pleiades will look like a tiny cluster of bluish stars. It's the perfect way to wrap up the year with a peaceful night under the sky. December 2025 is giving us so many chances to enjoy the beauty of space. So whenever you can, step outside this month and take a moment to enjoy these amazing events. It's the perfect way to end the year with wonder and excitement.